In this video, we will straightforwardly explain the operation of the electronic board in an inverter type air conditioner. 1. The current comes from the electrical system and is of the alternating and monophasic type. 2. In the alternating system, the current alternately flows from positive to negative and vice versa, changing its direction. The fact that it is monophasic indicates that the system is powered by two cables of alternating current. 3. The first section of the air conditioner's board is responsible for converting alternating current into direct current. Subsequently, the current flows in only one direction, for example, from positive to negative, and never in reverse. 4. To achieve this transformation, a bridge of diodes is used, devices that allow the current to pass in only one direction, when configured properly. 5. After the diode bridge, the current becomes continuous and experiences a slight increase in voltage. 6. This voltage increase is due to the multimeter measuring averages, and now the entire average is positive since there is no negative part. Thus, the continuous voltage at the diode bridge output is greater than the original alternating voltage. 7. Since the required voltage for the compressor may vary with its speed, a circuit is needed to supply it according to its needs, and here the PFC circuit comes into play. 8. The PFC circuit, or power factor correction circuit, is basically composed of a controller, a transistor, a coil or reactor, and a diode. 9. The controller of the PFC circuit rapidly turns the transistor, IGBT, on and off to generate pulsating current in the coil and produce voltage peaks. This circuit is responsible for supplying voltage to the IPM circuit. 10. The IPM circuit is responsible for directly providing current to the air conditioner compressor. 11. To achieve current distribution, the IPM circuit consists of six transistors. 12. Since the most efficient power supply system is three-phase alternating current, the air conditioner compressor will be powered by three-phase alternating current, implying that its motor will have three coils. 13. Three-phase current is alternating, meaning the current in each coil will circulate in two directions. Therefore, two transistors are used per motor coil, totaling six transistors, to supply the three compressor motor coils in both directions. 14. With the help of the IPM controller, you can modify which transistor will send electrical current to the compressor coil. 15. Additionally, the IPM circuit controls the frequency or the number of times the transistors allow the passage of current, thus regulating the speed of the compressor motor. 16. It is important to remember that when changing the compressor frequency, it may be necessary to adjust the voltage, a task performed by the PFC circuit, as explained earlier. 17. In summary, to improve the efficiency of the equipment, the air conditioner compressor is of the three-phase alternating type. Since the current feeding the equipment is of the monophasic alternating type, a transformation is required starting with rectification. Then, the PFC circuit controls the voltage, followed by the IPM circuit, which distributes the current to the three compressor coils through six transistors, generating a highly efficient three-phase alternating current. This system also allows controlling the compressor speed by adjusting the frequency of transistor activation.